And welcome back to the show. The Jayhawks 1-0 and in the Big 12 after the win Saturday at Manhattan. Coach joins us now. What a big victory. A lot of reasons, but I think maybe first and foremost, a road win in the Big 12 North. Boy, those are very valuable. Well, they are. You know, anytime you get a chance to win on the road in the North or in the conference in general, mm -hmm. uh, it's big. It's, it's important to us. And uh, our kids did a good job Saturday. They were ready to go. Well, we're going to check out the highlights of the ball game. A warm day in Manhattan. The sun kind of in and out of the clouds, but it got pretty toasty down on that field. And as you get ready to play the opening toss and you win the toss, I'd like to take uh, the football. Yes, uh, we took the football because we're confident in our offense. And we definitely thought uh, on the road in the Big 12, uh, the wind in the fourth quarter could be a factor. What an interception by Kansas State early on, and the Wildcats come up with a big play here just in the opening moments of the ball game as they get the ball to Jordy Nelson. Yeah, they had a big play there to start out, and uh, fortunately that was the only really big play they had on offense all day. After that, we were able to keep things in check. That'll really test your mettle early in the ball game when things don't go well, as was the case right there. But now we'll watch the KU defense, and uh, they really had a fine day. Yes, our defense played well. They really did. Played well against the run, played the pass well, and uh, were able to hold them here. Uh, well, that's the one that hit the upright. Right. <laughs> Field goal try doesn't go at distance, but hit the upright. How much of a factor was the win in the ballgame? It was pretty strong out of the South most of the day. Uh, it was a factor. We uh, checked the weather reports uh, pretty extensively before the game. We knew it was going to be a factor. That's Todd uh, run with the football here. A 10 yard pickup for you. Yeah, Todd did a good job of uh, flushing the pocket when he needed to and got some big yardage there. Mixing the plays and uh, finding the tight end Derek Fine with a nice catch right there. 17 yard pickup. As the Jayhawks now moving the football, you got the win behind you right here in the second quarter. And Todd throwing again, and uh, there's Marcus Henry. Yeah, Todd, good pass to Marcus. Marcus gets some yardage there and. Uh, Todd threw the ball well all day. He had three picks, but uh, mm -hmm. that does not in any way overshadow the performance he had at quarterback. There's a 14-yard pickup for Jake Sharp. Jake and Brandon McAnderson combined to give you a good ground game. Yes, they did. Good one-two punch. And here uh, Jake keeps his feet going and it gets yardage after the hit and makes a touchdown. Boy, what a great run. That ties the game at that point 7-7. Seven, seven. You had to come from behind three times in this ball game. You got it tied right here. Just a great effort by your young guy from Salina. Yeah, great blocking up front by the offensive line, really moving people. So you get it evened out here. You're fairly early on in the in the second quarter. And we'll watch uh, James Holt, the KU defense, going to work here. Yeah, dump the ball off here uh, to one of the receivers, and James Holt comes up and makes a nice defensive play. Read it very well. And speaking of good plays, how about John Larson right there? Just shutting down a one-yard loss on that run. John had some tackles for a loss and a sack. Uh, John did a, a very good job uh, and can even play better. Uh, here that you see a score, nice run there, getting the ball in the end zone. That's a seven-yard run for Kansas State. Makes it 14-7 to seven Wildcats uh, here in the second quarter. Now the Jayhawks uh, getting the ball back. and we'll Watch Todd Reesing operate right here. And this ball picked off by K-State. You mentioned he had three picks yeah. in the game. But, uh, well, it was an ill-advised throw. He's running to his right, tried to throw it back across his body, and that's always a recipe for disaster. But you see a tip here yep. by Caleb Blakesley and an interception by Russell Borson. Uh, we made some plays and had some interceptions, three of them on defense ourselves. And a pass here, Desmond Briscoe, your fine uh, freshman receiver. Is we're getting late here in the first half, down by a touchdown, the Jayhawks. And under pressure right here and finds Brandon McAnderson. And boy, what a run after the catch. Yeah, this drive here, this was an important drive to get us a score before the half. Brandon McAnderson gets the yardage after the catch. And here uh, uh, we got into a formation here, and uh, they had confusion in their coverage, and uh, Keeb was wide open for the touchdown. Akeeb Dalee, boy, he gets in there for a few snaps on offense, and he scores another touchdown here for you. Just a, a huge play, just seconds to go in the first half. So you're able to go in at halftime with a, with a brand-new ball game, 14-14. Yeah, it was a great drive by our offense. Todd Reesing you know, did a good job of keeping calm and poised, uh, knew exactly what was there, good play calling by our offensive coaches, uh, Ed Warner, and uh, it was a good drive, tied mm -hmm. it up going into half, just 
seconds to go. This is just an outstanding uh, major college football game. Great crowd, over 50,000, and the way it should be in a, in a BCS conference like the Big 12, this kind of football you'd expect. Well, of course, you know, a packed house and uh, in-state rivals going oh, at yeah. it, and uh, it, it was a lot of fun. It was a fun atmosphere. Well, it was a fun atmosphere in the second half as well, and we'll check out those second half highlights for you right after you take a look at this. Well, they need a yard. They're going to throw for it. Caught! Dexter Fields! Touchdown! <laughs> All right, at halftime, a 14-14 tie in Manhattan. You come up at that third quarter, you know uh, they're going to have football. Yeah, and our defense has got to make a stop. Mm -hmm. The idea is to get a stop, three and out, and get the ball back. So you got a chance to establish something early as we check out the third quarter highlights from Manhattan on Saturday. And the Jayhawks really had a good defensive effort. It was that kind of ball game. Watch, watch the defensive play right here as uh, you're in a 14-14 tie, and uh, everybody knows they're in a ball game. At this point, James McClinton, James Holt teaming up on that stop. James McClinton played very well. Our defensive front did a great job of stopping the run. And that made a difference. You can stop the run. I mean, that, that, that is a huge help. Just like if you can establish the run, the way it goes in college football right now. Nice catch there by Marcus Henry. And you're going the other way with this football. This is against the wind, keep in mind, right here. So this is a yeah. big possession. And a tip ball, and Dexton keeps his focus and makes the catch. Todd connected with eight different receivers in the game. And watch this play now by Desmond Briscoe. Well, we caught him in a blitz. We knew they were going to bring pressure there, and it was a situation where we liked this play against blitz, and uh, it worked out perfect. Your first lead of the ball game, 21-14 right here. Jayhawks uh, about midway third quarter with a touchdown lead. And we'll watch Kansas State here. As the defense reacts well, and you get to uh, wrap up that quarterback. Seven yard loss on this play. Larson and Brorson, the two defensive ends, meeting at the QB. Well, we only had one official sack in the game, but we did put a lot of pressure on the quarterback, get him out of his comfort zone. Uh, this is a critical situation here, you know. Uh, trying to get a block we had the block on and um, you know we just ran into the kicker and we got to be smarter than that that's with a little razzle dazzle here but uh, guys reacting pretty well and good play by a key there and very little yardage on that play on that reverse yeah, only a five yard pickup and now another big defensive stop uh, James, James McClinton here again James just Playing outstanding football for us. Can't turn out to be a big play when you hold them to a field goal. You still have the lead after that. Yeah, our defense dug in and forced them to kick a field goal. So, touching the punter turned out to be a big play, but they were held to three points. Now you can go to work offensively and move this ball the other way as we get to the end of the third quarter. And you would have the wind in the fourth quarter. And here you go. That's a guy named Kerry Meyer making that catch right Kerry, there. Kerry, good catch, good run. He came close to breaking it, but uh, we're tr working our way uh, where we can get Kerry out there even more. Uh, here's the option play here on the critical uh, fourth down. We, we, you know, we said we're going to play aggressive football and go after it, but uh, we didn't convert it. But we come back here and play uh, play pretty good defense here again. And you can see Patrick Bresby over there making the play. While you were hopeful for that first down, obviously, it did show a lot of confidence in your defensive unit at that well, point. Well, it did. Here's a little underneath pass that they like to throw to the receiver, and Joe Mortensen hit it right in the mouth. Now here's kind of a free yeah. play and a big turnover. Kansas State takes over near the 16-yard line. Yeah, we gave him great field position there. Dexton, who's a pretty reliable guy, uh, you know, did not catch the ball, and they got it. And uh, they throw this, you know, they've been known to throw this play. We worked on it, but apparently we didn't work well enough. Uh, they scored on it. And that puts Kansas State back in front with still seven and a half minutes to go in the ball game. But great to reaction and response here by your offense. Well, here, take a look at Dexton Fields. He's a guy just had a critical mistake down there on a turnover. Mm -hmm. Comes back and makes a great catch here on the sideline. And then here's Todd Reesing again, uh, you know, staying in the pocket, finding his open receivers, hits Derek Fine. Going for the lead yeah. right here and uh, watch Dexton Fields. Yeah, there's Dexton. Uh, you know, he didn't let that play get him down. He showed some confidence and some, some moxie there to come back and make a, a critical touchdown catch for us.